Hello, welcome back to another video. I am Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio and I talk all about branding, design and creative entrepreneurship here. So if you are starting your own creative business, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. Now, in today's video, we are going to be creating smart mockups on Canva. So if you're a designer, an artist, an entrepreneur who's maybe interested in creating physical products or even digital products, then this video is for you. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I actually made a very similar video about how to create these mockups manually, more specifically for digital products. Like for example, if you are selling Canva templates in an Etsy shop or uh, a Notion template or something like that. But now that Canva has this partnership with smart mockups, it actually opens up the door way wider and it's so much easier now with thousands of new mock-up templates that you can already start your designs with right on Canva. Now, before we head into my laptop to do this tutorial, why don't you let me know in the comments below what you're using these mock-ups for? I'm just so curious. Are you creating a new product line? Are you a designer? Are you an artist? Are you selling Canva templates? Let me know what you're using your mock-ups for in the comments below. All right, now let's get started. Welcome to my laptop. We are now um, logged into Canva and first things first, you're going to head to uh, smart mockups here on the very left. And from what I believe you can do this, even if you're not on the pro account, I don't see a little uh, crown sign here. So I'm pretty sure you can use this even in a, a free account. So that's awesome. And if you scroll through here now, you're gonna see a ton of different mock-up templates. And honestly, I'm just so, so excited. Um, they used to have this here, but they didn't have such a big database of design templates. Um, and so with all these new templates available now, it makes it so much more usable. So I'm just gonna walk through each of these categories here. Um, so the first one here is technology. So technology is things like smartphones and desktops and laptops and tablets, as you can see here. These are perfect if you are an entrepreneur, let's say you want to launch some sort of digital product, whether it's a course or a website or um, you know, Canva templates or whatever it may be. Um, these digital templates are perfect for that, whether you are um, creating an Instagram post about it, promoting it or an ad campaign, or, um, even just as a mock-up for, um, your clients. Like let's say you are a designer or an artist and you want to show off what your piece looks like for your client on your laptop or on their phone, then this would be the perfect place to find those templates. Next up is print. So these can be cards and books and posters and such that you can see here. So these are perfect if you're a designer or an artist and you want to you know, showcase what your photo or your design looks like uh, on, on a frame or if you design wedding invites and you wanna showcase what your product looks like on Etsy. Um, these kinds of um, print templates would be perfect. Um, and then we have packaging. So this is all like cosmetics and um, beverages and all of that. This again is amazing if you are a designer and you want to show your client, you know, what their logo looks like. Maybe you're designing for a coffee shop and they want to see what their logo looks like on a coffee mug. You can do that here. Um, and then next is apparel. So this is pretty obvious, you know, t-shirts, hoodies, and that and such. So again, same thing if you're a designer or an artist, um, or maybe you are selling t-shirts and hoodies, you can use this as a way to mock up your logo on um, the apparel and see if it looks good. And then next up is home and living, which includes like mugs and pillows and candles and that kind of thing. So definitely check out all of these different categories um, to see which one suits best for you. Now, not all of these categories have um, 
the the mock-up with that without the background though only some of them do mostly the technology ones so why don't we go through a couple of examples together and we can kind of um, like test it out just so you can get like a quick tutorial on how to do this yourself so why don't we start off with a smartphone one I'm gonna choose one that already has a beautiful background um, let's say I think like this one looks gorgeous um, so what you're gonna do once you pick your design you're gonna click on select and you are going to want to uh, upload something into that space. So what I actually recommend is to go on your phone because this is a phone mock-up. So let's say you want to do a mock-up of your website, then you should head to your website. And what you're gonna do is you're actually going to take a screenshot. So let's say this is the space that I want to um, do a mock-up of. I'm going to literally just um, take a screenshot of my screen um, and then I am going to click on done. I'm going to save it to my photos um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to send that photo over to your laptop. So on a, um, if you're on an iPhone then you can do that really quickly with AirDrop if not, then you might need to send it over an email or Google Drive or something. And so I just received the photo and now I'm going to click on my uploads and I'm just going to look for that document. So, okay, so just select your photo and there you go. And it's going to fill into that space automatically and it looks really, really good. So all you have to do now is um, save the mock-up, but if you if you do want to, you can adjust the image. So let's say the image has, you know, something that you don't want in it. You can definitely play around with these features and crop it out or something like that. Once it's done, you can click on save mockup. And once you save that mockup, you can either save it as like an image or you can actually bring it into your space. So you can either download and it'll download it as a PNG or you can actually use it in a design. So let's say you're creating uh, an Insta story. You can click on Insta story and it'll bring that image automatically into the size and dimensions of an Insta story. So I'm just gonna resize this to make sure that it fits the screen here. And there we go. But maybe I'm like, you know what? I want it to be bigger and be in one corner like that so that I can write some text right here. You can do that as well. And then let's say we just add some text here. We're going to add a heading here and be like, check out my new website. <laughs> this is just an example. And there we go. We have a little space here with your uh, mock-up of your phone. So that's really easy. Now, what if you wanted to create a mock-up and do your own background, right? Because maybe some of these backgrounds, you're scrolling through it and it's just like not your style. You can actually do that. Um, like if you look here, there's actually quite a few different mock-ups that has no background. So why don't we test out one of them? Like this one looks really cool. So why don't we get started on this one? I'm just gonna choose the same image here and we're going to save the mock-up and we're going to use it in an in insta story design again so i just want to make sure that this is truly like with no background so why don't we add a color in the back okay perfect as you can see here there is no background and it looks so cool i can totally imagine this as an ad or something you can add some text or background whatever you want in the background or even in the forefront and that looks Amazing. All right, great. So that is how you create an iPhone mock-up. It's gonna be the same if you do it for like laptop or any of the other technologies. Again, perfect if you are showcasing your website or digital product or a course of some sort. Now, why don't we test out one of these print mock-ups? I'm gonna choose, let's see, something interesting here might be... Oops, I keep accidentally clicking on that. Um, maybe the stickers here. 
So I'm gonna choose sticker. And I like this sticker right here. I think this can be used in a lot of spaces. Like I do brand design. So a lot of times I design like circular shape designs for my clients. So um, this would be a great one. I'm gonna choose my, my design here. I'm just gonna pick my brand icon. Um, and that looks incredible. Um, it looks exactly like a real sticker. So I'm just going to save this mock-up. And again, I'm going to bring it into a design space. Why don't we bring it into like, let's say an Instagram post. And I just wanna make sure that this truly has no background. So that's perfect. I'm gonna make the sides a little bit more cropped because I feel like it's taking up too much space. And just for fun, I'm just going to create a little pattern here with these stickers. Maybe I want to showcase my new logos or something. So this might be a cool way to showcase them with like a uh, kind of like a 3D mock-up. Um, that looks amazing. Okay, I love that. Um, so there you go. That is how you create like a mock-up of a sticker. Here's just another idea. All right, next up, why don't we test out something that's more like 3D? Why don't we go into this phase? How about candles? I think candles um, can look so beautiful with different designs. Um, you can even put your logo there. Um, so why don't we pick one of these and see which one I like. Ooh, I really like one of these ones. I'm going to choose this one right here. And uh, let's choose one of the logos. So I don't know which one will look better, but this is a logo that I created for my client recently. Maybe it's better with the black logo. So it'll show up a little bit better. That's so cool. But it looks a little bit low quality. So I'm just gonna choose another one. There's no reason for it to be low quality though, because I did do like a high, like an, it's an SVG file. So I don't understand how it could be low res. Maybe I'll save it and just see how it looks. Maybe it's just this mock up here that looks kind of weird. Oh, there it is, it is high resolution. Okay, so I can download it, or again, I can bring it into another design space here. Um, just gonna create it into an Instagram story again. And that looks so beautiful. Um, this would be a great thing if I just exported this, I can include it into my client presentations, and then I can show my client here what her logo would look like, like if it was on a candle. Looks amazing here. But one other thing I wanted to showcase is what if you wanted to, let's say have this candle, but have no background. Okay, let's say, what if you wanted this candle, right? But there is a background in it right now. Pretty sure this is a background, it's not cut out. Um, what you could do is you can, okay, let's say select your, your graphic on top and we're gonna save this mock-up and we can then bring it into a design space and we can manually remove the background. So why don't we do that together? We're gonna use this in a design and I'm gonna put it in an Instagram post and let's just double check because I'm pretty sure there's a background here. Yeah, exactly. So as you can see, there is a white background on this image. They didn't actually remove the background of this, but with the background remover, you can do it yourself. So go to edit image, and then we're going to use the background remover, which is a pro feature. So make sure you have upgraded to the pro account to do this, links below for my free trial of the Canva Pro. And just like that, you have removed the background. All right, so I'm going to apply it, and I'm just going to remove 
some of the background because there's so much of it. But as you can see here, it's kind of lost it, its like 3D-ness. And one of the reasons is because it lost its shadow. So you can actually go into here now and create the shadow yourself. And Canva does a really great job with that. Um, so I do think this like shadow is a little bit harsh looking. So you can definitely blur it out a little bit more and maybe make it a little bit less like crazy. And then you can click on apply. And now there's like a soft shadow there and that looks really good. So if you want, you can add your own background. Let's say you want to go into elements here and we're going to pick a photo. Let's say this one. And now you have your own candle with your mock-up logo on it, as well as on top of any background of your choosing. And that is it, you guys. I hope you found the tutorial helpful and learned something new. By the way, I do have a Canva class on Skillshare called Canva Basics Launch Your Creative Business. So if you are preparing to launch your business right now and you need some branded marketing materials and social media art, then be sure to check out that class because I provide a ton of templates and I teach you how to customize them to your own brand. All right, I'm going to be leaving my links to my 30 day free trial to Skillshare. So you can basically take the class for free. Um, and I guess I'll see you in class. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.